what's up it's Danielle so for today's video I wanted to kind of do like a plan with me I know I haven't done one of these in forever but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and I've been working like a mad woman on my planner so I will be showing that to y'all in a separate video but for right now I just wanted to do a plan with me for the month of February so I have decided to continue printing my own monthly inserts. I actually do the weekly inserts by hand, but the monthly ones, I I don't know, I kind of think of it as a pain in the ass. So I prefer to just go into Excel and, you know, just print it off. That's just my personal preference. But um, I, it's, you know, this is basically the same format that I was using when I was still in my file effects. So it should look relatively familiar to you guys if you've been with me for a while. There is one huge difference and it is that I have a grocery total on the side. And I did that because I'm really trying to rein in my spending. So pretty much I, you know, since I'm trying to make that a priority, I really wanted to kind of drive that home in my actual inserts, I guess. So I do have some of this stuff filled out already, as you can see. It is pretty small, so I do apologize for that. Um, but let me just take you through really quickly what I have. So the key that I came up with which is totally different from the system that I use in my daily pages is actually on, it's a fly leaf that I made, but this is what it is. So M is for movie, B is for birthday, the dollar sign is for when I have bills that are due, the star is for when I have work, and the little clock icon is for when I have appointments and meetings. Now you're probably wondering why I have, you know, only a couple of work days on here. And that's because I actually work Thursday to Saturday most weeks, but every three weeks I have to work a Sunday. So I just like to remind myself of when that is. And unfortunately it's this coming weekend. So yay me. But anyways, I do also have the moon phases on here. So I don't know how accurate this is because I looked it up on timeanddate.com. My wall calendar says something totally different. So this stuff is off by like a day or so. For example, this one's supposed to be the 8th and this one's supposed to be the 17th. This one's supposed to be the 24th. So, you know, it's just... I guess it kind of varies or I don't know I, I honestly don't maybe it just depends on your location because I know timeanddate.com uses your location so anyways we are on what is it the 30th yeah we're on the 30th of January right now and tomorrow is the 31st and then it's finally February so Kind of good thing, kind of a bad thing. Um, I'm trying to find my pink pen so that I can write in one thing that I forgot, which is Valentine's Day. So, all right, there we go. So I'm just gonna start with that. And I'm just gonna put a little heart right here. By the way, I apologize if you can hear my space heater in the background. I'm trying to be super cheap and I turned my heat down to 64. So <laughs> I'm kind of dying, but it's fine. It's all in the name of saving money. Okay, so, so far this is everything that I have on here. I did go ahead and decorate it with some washi, which does have, you know, a little bit of a sparkle to it so I like that so I'm also going to go ahead and add in the grocery total for this week 
So I think I was at 51.11. And I totally could have split this up because obviously you don't need that much room for, you know, listing a grocery total, but I thought it would be a good idea if I listed the, you know, extra things that I bought that were not food items. So I'll do that later, but I do have my list for this month. And this is just a one of those sticky notes from the Target dollar spot that I got a while back. So this is everything that I have for February. It is quite a bit. I never really have this much, or I should say I never have in the past, but then again, I wasn't tracking like the phases of the moon and you know, blah, blah, blah. So and I wasn't really tracking my bills either because I didn't really have to because I didn't have that many. <laughs> okay, so to start off, on the first, I have rent and utilities due. So I just like to abbreviate, so I'm just going to say RU. And then on the fourth, I have work. On the seventh, I have or I'm sorry, there is a waning crescent moon, so I'm going to put 3Q and then waning crescent. Basically the reason why I'm tracking the phases of the moon is because I've noticed that, you know, I mean I've known this for a long time, but people get like really insane once we get towards a full moon. So I'm kind of just like mentally trying to prepare myself for that because it's just, it becomes insanity and I can't deal with anybody. Okay, on the 9th, I have my student loan payment due and 50 Shades Darker comes out. I'm not a huge fan of those movies, but I've watched all of them, so I'm like, might as well watch the last one. And then the 13th, I have my credit card payment. The 15th, there is a new moon. And then on the 16th, very exciting day. Not because I have to pay my car insurance, but because Black Panther comes out, so excited. And also Early Man comes out, which is like, it's a claymation movie. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. So, so Black Panther and Early Man. And then on the 20, what is it, 23rd, it's a first quarter moon, waning gibbous. And then the 25th, I have work. And then on the 28th, it's actually the 29th, but today's, or not today, this year is a leap year. So my internet is due. And that is literally it. So I know this wasn't the most exciting thing in the world, but if you watched my previous you know, look into my disc bound planner. I have been trying to simplify things. If you guys have been with me since I had my Filofax, which I mean, I still have it, but I'm not using it. I went a little too overboard with that. There was just shit everywhere. And like I said, I'm trying to make things more simplistic 
not more complicated. So if you were expecting more out of this, I apologize. Well, actually not really because this is what works for me. So if you don't like it, whatever. But um, the last thing is to just write February right here. So... Me and my shitty cursive. There we go. And that is absolutely everything. Obviously, as things pop up, I'm going to include them. But for right now, this is what works. And something that I want to mention is I know I have a lot of extra room down here. I did that on purpose because sometimes there are weeks that take up six, or I'm sorry, sometimes there are months that take up six weeks instead of just four or five. So, for example, one, two, three, four. this one takes five, so one, two, three, four, five. So, basically, I just made it so that I'll always have enough room on my calendar pages to, you know, go ahead and um, add in the days. So, the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys is my goal for the month. And I used to be really big on goals, but again, kind of cutting back because I find that I'm more focused. So this is just, it's, I mean, I use it as a fly leaf, but it's really just something that I laminated, but nothing on it is laminated. So it's just laminated plastic that I punched. So on here, you can see I already showed this to you. I have my key for my months, and then I'm also keeping track of the vernal, autumnal equinoxes, and then the summer and winter solstices. And then I just have my goals right here. Or I should say goal, because that's only one. So basically, it's just to watch extraneous expenses. So I find that even if I do, you know, stick to my budget of $50, which obviously I didn't this week, but even if I do stick to that, I'm still buying extraneous stuff, you know, in other areas, like I'll buy chips or something, you know, when I come home from work because I don't feel like cooking or because, you know, I had a really stressful day. So it's, it's things like that, that really throw my budget off. I'm actually in the process of converting to the Dave Ramsey system. I just have to, you know, catch up first. So anyways, that's just my goal. But the way this sits in my planner is it actually just goes like this. So, you know, I can always see what my goals are and it's, you know, quick reference for me. So anyways, I know this is super short, probably a breath of fresh air for y'all, but I just wanted to kind of, you know, show you guys what I'm up to now in terms of planning my monthly. And, you know, if you got ideas from this, cool. If you didn't and you hated it, then whatever, bye. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys. We are